Now pay attention, Squidward. As new manager, you've got to keep a sharp eye out for paying customers. Yawn. What's this? King Neptune is riding toward the Krusty Krab at lunchtime. He's got money. Stay in the coach, daughter. This won't take long. Daddy, please, I think you're overreacting. Silence, Mindy! I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Squire! Yes, Your Highness. Have this pole executed at once. A hundred and one dollars for a Krabby Patty? With cheese, Mr. Squidward, with cheese. <laughs> Greetings, subjects. I seek the one known as Eugene Krabs. May he present himself to me at once. I'm Eugene Krabs, your highness. Would you like to order something? Nay! I'm on to you, Krabs. You have stolen the royal crown, you cannot deny. For clever as you are, you left one damning piece of evidence at the scene of the crime. I stole your crown, sign Eugene Krabs. Relinquish the royal crown to me at once. But, but this is crazy. I didn't do it. Krabs, this is Clay, the guy you sold Neptune's crown to. Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks again for selling me the crown, Neptune's crown. I sold it to a guy in Shell City, and uh, I just wanted to say thanks again for selling me the crown, Neptune's crown. Which is now in Shell City. Goodbye. <laughs> well, we, I, uh, uh, don't you just hate wrong numbers? My crown is in the forbidden Shell City! <laughs> Plan Z. I love Plan Z. <laughs> Prepare to burn, Krabs. Wait, Neptune, please, I'm begging you. I ain't a crook. Ask anyone. That'll vouch for me. Very well, then. Before I turn this conniving crustacean into fish meal, who here has anything to say about Eugene Krabs? Something to say about Mr. Krabs. Yeah, sure. SpongeBob, me boy, oh, you come just in time. Oh, pardon me, miss. Please tell King Neptune all about me. I have worked for Mr. Krabs for many years and always thought he was a great boss. You see? A great boss! I now realize that he's a great big jerk! <laughs> I deserve that manager's job! But you didn't give it to me! Cause you say I'm a kid! Well, I am 100% man! And this man has got something to say to you! Oh. There! I think I made my point. Anyone else? No? Well then. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, my pants are on fire! My underwear's on fire! I'm on fire! Oh, yeah. And now, Eugene Krabs, you will die! Yeah. I'm flattered you would do this on my account, but being manager isn't worth killing Mr. Krabs over. Quiet, fool! Mr. Krabs stole my crown and now it's in Shell City. That's why he must die. Doesn't it seem a little harsh to kill someone over a crown? You don't understand. My crown is a symbol of my king-like authority. And uh, between you and me, my hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh! Uh, King Neptune, sir, would you spare Mr. Krabs' life if I went to get your crown back? You go to Shell City? <laughs> no one who's gone to Shell City has ever returned. What makes you think you could? You're just a kid. But I'm not a kid. I can do it. Run along. I have a crab to cook. <laughs> no! I won't let you! Very well, then. I'll have to fry you both! Daddy!
Somebody stop it! Can't you get through one day without executing someone? Mindy! I told you to stay in the carriage! Where's your love and compassion? Look at this little guy. He's willing to risk his life to find your crown and save his boss. But daughter, I... Please, father. At least let him try. What have you got to lose? Might I remind you of your special problem? Alright. Very well, Mindy. I'll give him a chance, but when your little champion fails to return, I get to splatter this crab all over the walls. Huh? And as for you, be back here with my crown in exactly ten days. He can do it in nine, eight, seven, six, six, six it is then. Five. Epic shush. Until then, the crab shall remain frozen where he now stands. No way. I'm begging you. Who turned on the AC? Huh? Mr. Krabs. Oh, no. This is terrible. Who's going to sign my paycheck? Come along, Mindy. Listen, you guys, the road to Shell City is really dangerous. There's crooks, killers, and monsters everywhere. And what's worse, there's a giant cyclops who guards the outskirts of the city and preys on innocent sea creatures. Don't let him catch you, because if he does, he'll take you back to his lair, and you'll never be seen again. She's pretty, SpongeBob. Here, take this. What's in here? It's a magical bag of winds. I stole them from my father. You're hot. Once you find the crown, open the bag of winds and you'll be blown back home. Mindy! I'm coming! Good luck, SpongeBob. Wait! How did you know my name? Oh, I'm gonna be queen of the sea one day. I've learned the names of all the sea creatures. What's my name? That's easy. You're Patrick Star. <laughs> Mindy! I gotta go. I believe in you guys. Thanks, Mindy. Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. Patrick Squidward and I... Pass. Er, uh, uh, Patrick and I... Hi. ...are gonna get that crown back and save you from Neptune's wrath. You've got nothing to worry about. Your life is in our hands. Oh. Patrick, let's go get that crown. Your eyes, Patrick. What is it? The paddy wagon. Mr. Krabs uses it for promotional reasons. Let me show you some of its features. Sesame seed finish. Steel belted pickles. Grilled leather interior. And under the hood, a fuel injected French fryer with dual overhead grease traps. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hey, I thought you didn't have a driver's license. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>